The 2024 BMW XM SUV is a powerful and luxurious SUV designed from the ground up, featuring a twin turbocharged V8 engine and a plug-in hybrid system that can produce up to 738 horsepower. This powerful engine can reach 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds and can even operate on electric power for errands. The XM's cabin is spacious, trimmed, and comfortable, and it comes with desirable tech features like a curved dashboard display and the latest driver assistance systems. Despite its impressive performance, the XM is not as joyful to drive as the company's M3 and M5 sports sedans. However, if corner carving is not your preference, the XM has panish and power. The 2023 BMW XM's competitors include the Bentley Bentayga Hybrid, which is slower and more expensive, and the Porsche Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid, which offers similar talents for much the same price. Despite its impressive performance, the XM's ride is harsh, and the Porsche is a tough competitor. The XM's modern tech and features, along with its upscale, Rui Cabot, make it a formidable choice for those seeking a combination of performance and luxury. The 2023 BMW XM is a unique plug-in hybrid SUV, the first bespoke M car since the M1. It features a 4.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 gas engine and a plug-in hybrid system, delivering a combined power output of 644 EB. The XM is a two-row, five-seat SUV with no three-row option available. The range currently includes one trim, but another will be added next year. In 2024, a more powerful label model will join the lineup, boasting a 738 up variant of the XM's plug-in hybrid powertrain. The extra power is enough to launch the XM label to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds, a significant premium over the base model. Pricing confirmation will be announced before the label hits dealers at the end of 2023. Depending on the model and extras, the 2024 BMW XM might cost anywhere from $159,995 to $185,995. The XM has a high starting price but offers a plethora of luxury options, such as large 23-inch wheels, leather seats, a stylish curved touchscreen display, and numerous driver assistance features. One of the few vehicles where the exterior and interior design really complement each other well is the XM. No, there isn't a gangly kidney grille peering out of the windshield at every passenger, but a cursory glance around maintains the same striking motive. The dashboard is covered in a variety of materials, textures, and eye-catching accents. The XM label opted for a much more conventional black and gray color scheme, while the XM we drove featured no fewer than six colors throughout its dash. The colors and touch surfaces are also shared by the door carts. It's true that those design decisions give the XM and XM label a unique feeling when operating. Notably, the cabin is very comfy in addition to being visually appealing. BM2 added some finer tweaks to the infotainment system because the front chairs are so extensively adaptable. Physical buttons can only take up so much space on the side of the seat, after all. It's the BMW iDrive 8 infotainment system, to speak about it. This incorporates an expansive curved screen that serves as the final home for the infotainment system and the driver information display. The concept car debuted with optional leather upholstery that had a vintage appearance, but the XM's interior is all high-end. The only available option for the XN's cabin is a geometric pattern Fox Suite headliner with spectacular fiber optic lighting, replacing the car's expansive panoramic sunroof. The XN's cabin is limited to two rows. There is an available audio upgrade that includes an illuminated tweeter from Bowers and Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System. Even though I'm 6'6, there wasn't enough headroom for me in the back seats, despite their great space. The rear seats are among the most luxurious in the market despite this, thanks to their wraparound construction and plush cushioning. Remember that the rear passengers enjoy heated seats, a separate climate control system, and a full view of BMW's angular headliner with integrated multicolor LEDs. This is a fairly high-end SUV that has the capability to compete in that regard. There is plenty of room for cargo as well. There are 19 cubic feet of storage behind the second row seats. Crucially, the extremely elegant XM cover in the section housing the charging wire reduces some of that. 
Instead of under the cargo area, why not? Owners can't use that space, unfortunately. Since the cargo floor is stationary, BMW stores the cable in an elegant bag. The fact that the back doors are the only way to lower the back seats is another minor inconvenience. The cargo area is devoid of any latches or release buttons. Two-thirds of your dashboard is taken up by a sizable curved display. The display runs BM2's most recent iDrive 8.5 software package and functions as an infotainment center in addition to a digital gauge cluster. Along with the included wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, there are other goodies, including a premium stereo system, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and Sirius XM satellite radio. The XM models come standard with basic safety features like automated emergency braking and lane keeping assist. But advanced tech like an adaptive cruise control system with a lane centering feature is available. Additional safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature. In the BMW XM, a 4.4 liter V8 with twin turbochargers is mated to an electric drive and an array of batteries to produce an incredible 644 horsepower. This engine is not new to the BMW repertoire. When we took the XM for a test drive on our home ground, we were astonished to see that it could reach 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds. Despite our initial assessment of the powertrain's instant punch and our assumption that it should take roughly 3.8 seconds, when compared to other performance SUVs like the Lamborghini Urus and the Porsche Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid, both of which achieved 0 to 60 amp times of 3.2 seconds in our testing, that places the XM at a minor disadvantage. The coil spring suspension system of the XM is enhanced by active anti-roll bars and adjustable dampers. Although the ride isn't as smooth and pleasant as it would be if BMW had opted to provide air suspension, it's still rather pleasant when driving in comfort mode. The XM is exciting to drive on winding roads because of its quick and responsive handling when it is in sport mode. Even though the XM is a plug-in hybrid, EPA claims that it only gets 12 amp in the city and 17 amp on the highway. When using only its gasoline engine, the XM outperformed the EPA estimate of 20 amp on our 75 miles per hour interstate fuel economy route. When accounting for the approximately 29 miles we traveled on electric power, the figure is an even more reasonable 49 Mach. Visit the EPA website to learn more about the fuel efficiency of the XM we were able to get close to this claimed range of around 30 miles on a single charge, 29 miles, in our testing of the XM's 25.7 kilowatt battery pack. The battery can be juiced at a maximum of 7.4 kilowatts by the onboard charger of the XM, according to BMW and it can charge the battery to 100% in just over three hours.